your power ends where your fear begins. So that is a quote by, from the Palladians, a group of Palladians that um, I often listen to by um, Barbara Mersenak. I'm butchering her last name, but she um, has been channeling this one group of the Palladians for over like 30 years. And they constantly say that in their, in their work. Your power ends where your fear begins. And I love that. Because here's the thing, we all know since COVID, there's always been fear, right? We've always lived with fear. We have all have our own fears. But here's the thing, since COVID, the, the amount of fear we know has been amped up. Um, and I've often call, called this the fear-demic. I'm not saying the pandemic is not real and the virus is not real because it is. But for me, the fear has been way more damaging and destructive to people on a physical and emotional and mental level than the actual pandemic. And that's not to take away from the deaths. That's not to take away from people being sick. I'm saying that it, that has been a huge challenge for so many people. And I've seen a lot of people who, ha who are not dealing with the fear um, have deep anxiety, kids going into anxiety. Oh my gosh, a depression. So the fallout emotionally from um, the pandemic has been massive. And the, here's the thing, this is the way I see it, is that, the, that whatever was going on with people pre-pandemic is being exacerbated in this during this time. So the fears we had before, if we haven't looked at them and, and met them and released them, they have the, the, the opportunity or the chance to get exacerbated. So your, your power ends where your fear begins. So I got this beautiful like meditation, sort of like exercise right before I came on here. I started like really diving into those words energetically. And here's an invitation. We all have fear. We're human. Now, a true warrior, like a true spiritual warrior, because, and this is the time of the warrior, the time of the spiritual warrior. We, we, it is our time. It is your time to look at your fear, almost like a, um, like a straight line or a beam of light or a beam of energy in your consciousness and kind of following the fear, right? Let's say, oh, I'm afraid that if I go to the store, like I'm just making this up, like we'll follow this fear. If I go to the store and someone sneezes on me, I could get COVID. And then if I get COVID, then um, that means I get really sick. And if I get really sick, that might mean I could die. And then I leave my children and then follow the train of the fear, right? Follow it. Then, like you could go to worst case scenario, none of it's true. This is all going to be in a meditation, right? Because we can do that anyway. We're doing that on a steeper level sometimes. Like, the, oh my God, what if this happens? Or what if that happens? What if, but just in an empowered state, follow it. Okay. This might lead me to death. Now, now, you call in your guides, call in God, call in who you work with for support in the spiritual realm, your highest self, and you take light, white light, and you beam it through. You clear it all up. I release, I release that. I release all that fear because it's, it's all in our head, right? We all, it's all a state of mind. It's all made up. And you take beautiful beam of light and you clear it. And then if there's another thread, you do it to that one too. But follow the fear till the end, like the worst case scenario. Like I have a, let's say for example, oh, I have a canker sore. If I get a canker sore, what if it's cancer? What if I have cancer? If I have cancer, you get where I'm going. And you're going to see what the mind can do and what the, how the mind can make it up. And then you get to be in control and you get to be empowered around like, mm -mm. taking my light shining it all the way through and clearing and releasing. I release all that fear and I stand in my power. If we live in the moment, moment by moment by moment, and not in the what if, not in the future about what could happen, but we're standing in what's actually happening, we're good. We're good. Even if what's happening isn't comfortable, we're okay you're okay. So stand in your power. 
And remember that fear is a state of mind. And you and I and everyone else, we get to choose what we think. We get to choose what we feel. Sending you big love. Let's be warriors of light and courage through this time. And remembering what the Palladians say, your power ends where your fear begins. My name is Beth Osmer, and I will see you on here next time. In the PS section uh, is an invitation to join my private Facebook group um, called The Spiritual Warrior. And I do Facebook Lives and, and post meditations and all kinds of lovely stuff. And then today I'm going to actually add the PPS is Spirit Says, which is my spiritual comedy show made that up, but it's with my co-host, Tina. It's super funny and super fun. And it's a release from all of the stuff that's happening in your life. It's like, just come and have fun with us. And I'll put the link down there. It's on YouTube. You can subscribe to our channel. It's super fun. Um, all right. Your power ends where your fear begins. Stand in your power today.